Hi everyone, today we're going to look at the RAM between function in Excel. And RAM between is very helpful as you are trying to create random numbers between a minimum and maximum threshold. So very helpful if you're trying to create a, a random data set in which you will use to do some sort of data analysis or, or just need some, some random values. Something that, that you need to know though before we get started is that anytime data in one of the cells on the worksheet is adjusted or if you recalculate the worksheet, that, that RAM between is going to give you new values, uh, which can be helpful or a hindrance just depending on what you're trying to do with RAM between. An easy workaround though, if, if it keeps generating new numbers and you're just wanting to work with one data set, is just easily paste the values uh, of the numbers over the existing formulas that, and that will just give you a, a static uh, set of numbers to work with. Uh, and then something else to note is that unfortunately RAM between will not generate unique values. So if you're looking to create like a a random ranking of, of 1 to 10 for students or or uh, athletes or whatnot. It, it unfortunately will not do that and other there are other ways that we can do that though and we can look at in, in other videos but let's go ahead and get started. Um, we'll go over to our, our data tab here and so again like the syntax we have is just equals rand between and then it's asking for a bottom number and a, and a top number. So so what we can do here is we'll just go ahead and, and enter equals and type in rand between and then we can hit tab it auto fills there and then it's going to ask what is our what is our bottom number that we're looking for so we're just going to try and create this random data set for sales data that, that we might need for some sort of analysis and we'll go ahead and just put 50 as our our bottom number that's the very lowest number that that can be generated with rand between so we're going to hit a comma and then you know what's the maximum what's the top number We'll say 100 is that number. So, so RAM between will not generate anything above that number. So with that in mind, we'll just do our close parentheses there. And then it, go, it goes ahead and it's giving us a value in between that range. So, you know, in between 50 and 100. So if you wanted to easily spread this, all you have to do is just click on the bottom right corner there. And you can drag all the way to the, the far right column and you can drag the formula as far down as you need to. That's going to give you new data, that data that you need, and you can see that all falls within that 50 to 100 criteria range. So again, like, what's it going to take? Let's say, you know what, we don't want to use John as a name. Let's say we want to use Brian. We hit enter. Again, we messed with the data in one of the cells. It's going to recalculate. If you hit F9, which is the recalculate, the recalculate your worksheet button it will give you a new number so it's going to sit and do that but let's say that you, you're wanting to use this set of data it doesn't matter you don't want it to keep generating numbers all you're going to have to do is hit uh, select the data hit control c and then you can go ahead over the top and then just do special or paste values and that will just drop those values right on top of the formula so it gives it takes the numbers that ran between had previously generated and it just has drops it in and so now it is stationary which is is great if you know you're wanting to create that that stationary uh, data set something else you know like if again like another exercise as i mentioned before we can do rand between we're going to do one through ten here and so we want to drag it down and it's giving us those numbers between one and ten However, as I said before, it's not going to give you unique values. We see that there's two tens being used and two threes being used in this exercise. And so, if you're looking to do that with RAM between, it's that's not that's not going to it's not going to work, unfortunately. But still, it's a great function to be able to randomly generate numbers. And we'll come back up here and let's um, we're going to do RAND between again. And this time, we are going to do bottom we're gonna we're gonna make this a little bit more dynamic and then uh, top we're gonna create cells here excuse me we'll hit enter there um, so it's giving us zero so we don't have anything there but let's do our min and max and then our formula will be let's let's say we want our minimum to be 50,000 and our maximum to be 150,000 so it's creating that for that first cell we can go ahead and you know format it however we like and drag that number that formula throughout so we'll see it's not correctly dragging so what we're gonna have to do if we do want to make it dynamic is we're gonna have to go and ensure that it is uh, 
we, we hit F4 here and it's going to reference the, the min max numbers and it's not going to drag as we, we spread the formula. So again, now that those are, are locked in absolute values, we're going to click and we're going to drag and uh, again drag down to the very bottom and so it's going to give us those those that min max criteria and from here you could go in and adjust whatever you want your min max to be so if you wanted it to be 10 million you can go ahead and do that and it will give us excuse me that's just 1 million 10 million there so it's going to give us all of the numbers that we are looking for and then again you can just go ahead and, and paste the values as you see fit but essentially that's how you use the ram between function again a very simple and easy to use function within Excel to generate that random data. If you have any additional questions or would like me to help deep dive any other Excel prompts, please let me know and please remember to subscribe to the Excel guide.